Good day, this is smartwatchspecifications.com, the premier site for smartwatch specs, news and reviews. We have here the TechLife Smart Band. It is the model TLS B01. And on this video, we are going to pair it with its support app. So we'll connect it with our smartphone and of course the application that is available on Android and iOS. On this video, we are going to have a demo for our Android smartphone. So if you are interested to see on how to connect the TechLife Smart Band with its support app, and of course to connect it with Android smartphone, watch this video. And again, if you find this video tutorial useful, like, share, and subscribe. Okay, so let's begin and pair it with its support app. So this fitness tracker is using the DFIT app. It is the QR code for the wearable is available here in the user manual. As you can see here, we have the QR code. So it states here that is it is using the DFIT app. We can search this in the Google Play Store. And let's check if the QR code is also available here in the fitness tracker usually it is in the settings we have here the app download in our case we'll just go directly in the google play store then search the name of the application please take note that we are already connected or we are we have activated the bluetooth connectivity because some of the smart watches is still connected with our smartphone okay so we'll have a new app here the fit so this is the application let's see so we have the same logo here tap on install let's wait for it to complete its download so just 19.56 mb very lightweight So 80 percent 90 and it is now installing our application so let's wait for it it is now installed let's open the app agree to the privacy policy confirm then we'll just leave it as it is the personal information you can edit it if you want So it's going to load the dashboard here confirm so we are now on the dashboard of the fit so we have at least three menus here I guess this is for the profile this is for the health and sports and we have here the device so select it then tap on buying device confirm select while using the app allow the call logs so these are the permissions just allow it but if you're not going to use the phone call or the push notification you can disable this in our case we will have a demo next time so we'll allow it it's now looking for a war fitness tracker searching devices please wait If it's not available, just restart your device or reset it again. Okay, so we have here the TLS B01. So it is our fitness tracker. It's available here. To pair, select the fitness tracker. Wait for the connection. As you can see here, succeeded. And we are connected. So we have successfully paired our TechLife Smart Band with the support app. So let's go with the initial settings. So call reminder, let's activate the permission, message push, allow notification if you want to receive notifications, then go back. 
Okay, notification read permission not enabled. Again, let's load it. Device. Okay, we are disconnected. Connected, then message push. Activate. Then look for the defect app will allow the notification permission allow. Go back, then select the, I guess we can select the apps now. Okay, we'll disable some of the apps here. WhatsApp line, so we'll pick SMS, disable this one, Twitter, then Skype, we'll not use this one, Telegram, and Kakao Talk. Okay, that's it. Then next, quick communication. What's this? So, okay, so we can add phone numbers. Sam, confirm. Go back. Let's see if we do have it here. I don't know. I guess you will only receive a caller ID when you receive a call notifications. I guess that's the purpose. Other settings. Unit settings. Okay, everything's okay here. And that's it. So there's nothing to set here. Everything's okay for our Tech Life Smart Band. So that is our tutorial on how to connect your Tech Life Smart Band with your smartphone, particularly the DFIT application on Android smartphone. So if you have any questions regarding the tutorial, drop a comment below. And if you find this video useful, like, share, and subscribe.